guys how you guys doing in today's video we are going to making our soup mermaid dress we are going to have our soup mermaid dress so the first thing we have to do now is to mark our basic measurements our shoulder to arm o we have eight inches shoulder to bust we have eight and a half inches shoulder to under bust we have so that's under bust we have 12 inches bust to waist we have 8 inches bust to waist we have 8 inches waist to hip we have 8 inches and waist to knee length we have 17 inches which is our gown length now i know you might want to ask me that how do i come across all this i have a detailed video on size charts where I've explained how to get you know your distance calculation I'm going to link the video below and you can also place your order for our size charts okay so you can place your order to get our size chart it enables you to know where to place all your measurements so let's go ahead now and connect the lines together So after connecting the lines this is what I have this is what it looks like I'm gonna have to connect all my lines now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark my that which is also known as bust to bust so we have eight inches eight inches divided by two we have four inches I'll mark it all the way to my waistline four inches mark it on the hip line we have four inches we have four inches once i'm done i'll go in with my pattern master and connect the lines together so this is what we have now on your waistline go ahead and mark half inch on both sides on the waistline mark half inch on both sides right so this is our waistline we're going ahead now to mark half inch on both sides now connect it to your bust this way connect it to your bust and then connect your waist to your hip line so we'll go ahead now and connect that So once they are done, this is what we are going to have. But because we want to have our bustier effect, we are going to come to our under bust. Now on your under bust, mark half inch on both sides. But before then, we are going to extend this dust line to our shoulder. Extend this dust line, this dust line, the first dust line to the shoulder. So let's extend it now you can see what i'm doing so extend your dart line to your shoulder okay now it's done that so on the other bust now you will now mark half inch on both sides on your under bust half inch on both sides for our under bust so we are going to have half inch and then we have another half inch again on the under bust line on your under bust line mark half inch on both sides now you're going to go in with your pattern master connect it to your dart line this way connect it to your dart line this is what you are going to have once you've connected now the next thing you are going to do now is to connect this under bust line to the waistline. You are going to connect this that we have on our under bust to our waistline. Now, if you are using your pattern master, you also discover that your pattern master has this curve. So this is what we are going to use, right? So place it this way, making use of this curve part to connect your waist to your under bust. 
Can you see what we have? So you place it the other way again on this cuff part. Connect your waist to your under bust. So this is what it looks like, right? Now you're gonna to come to your shoulder now. From your shoulder that mark between five to six inches it all depends on how you really want your bustier cup to pop up so i'm going to make it of five and a half you can use five you can use six you can use five and a half it all depends on you so i'm going to make it of five and a half now connect this now we've marked five and a half at this uh, shoulder line connect this shoulder that to your bust point so let's connect that now to the bust we've gone ahead now okay so this is what we have this is what we have very easy now before you take your measurements go ahead and close this shoulder that go ahead and close your shoulder that automatically by the time you close your shoulder that this way by the time you close your shoulder that can you guys see can you see automatically your bustier effects will pop up you can see like without doing anything you can see the curve of the structure of the bust area you can see it has already like highlighted the bust area so i'm going to go in now with my paper tape to tape it down I'll make use of my paper tape now to tape it down. After taping it down, you can see the structure naturally. It pops up by itself. So the next thing we are going to do now is we're now going to go ahead and take our basic measurements, right? Yes, what we are doing is a tube dress, but this is a very simple way to achieve that. So let's take our shoulder measurements now. Our shoulder measurements we have 14 inches. 14 divided by 2, we have 7 inches. So we'll go ahead and mark our shoulder measurements, right? This is where our shoulder measurement is. Now, if it's not easy for you to take your measurement this way because of the pop effect, you can just open it up. If it's not easy for you, you can just open it up. But mind you, make sure when you are taking your shoulder measurement, it is closed. Make sure it is closed for your shoulder measurement. So, now for our bust measurement, we have 10.5. We have 10.5 for our bust measurement. For the waist measurement, we have 9.25. We have 9.25 for the waist measurement. For our hip measurement, we have 13.75. We have 13.75 for the hip measurement, 13.75, okay. Now, on the lower part now, we have 13.75, let's just say we have 14 inches, right? We are going to deduct between 1 inch to 2 inches, depending on how pencil you want your gown effect to be. So if I have 13.75, I can go ahead and mark... 12.75 at this point so when i mark 12.75 it simply means that i took away about you know one inch so it depends on you actually at this point so i've gone ahead now to mark it so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to use our pattern master to connect our gown length to the hip line connect the gown length to the hip line making use of your hip curve Connect your hip measurement to your waist. Hip measurement to your waist. So you can see. And then connect your bust to your waistline. 
so you can see the shape of my clients you can see that it is actually very coffee you can see like this is the waist and you can see the hip is a snatched effect now let's come back to this shoulder part where we have our tube the next thing you are going to do now is to determine how many inches you want to take off for your tube effect note that this totally depends on you you can take off five inches you can take off six you can take off seven you can take off eight it all depends on how deep you want it to be so for me i'm going to take off six inches by the time i'm done sewing i'm going to have about six and a half inches like i said it totally depends on you at this point so now we go ahead now and connect it with a straight line connect it with a straight line so at this point also you also take the effect of the kind of neckline you have right so let me just connect the straight line all the way down so at this point it depends on the kind of neckline if you have a straight neckline you just keep it straight if you have a curvy neckline a sweetheart neckline you go ahead now and get your sweetheart effect You know you just take it in to give you that sweet tart effect if you want a very deep sweet tart you know you just take it deeper so these points generally depend on the kind of neckline you want to have if you want to have a round neckline you just make sure you have a round shape here you know so this is just the effect of your neckline so you can play around with this part depending on the neckline of the style you are working with so connect your bust all the way to your shoulder so once we are done this is what once we are done this is what we are going to have this is our neckline this is our bust effect this is our neckline you can see this is where your dress will start from automatically because it's a tube effect so we are ignoring this upper part this is where our dress will start from this is our neckline because it's a tube effect our bust our waist our hip and then we have the full gown length and this is what we have for our dress so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and cut this out after cutting it out i'm going to open it up at this waist area so that we can have two pieces i'll show you guys what i'm doing guys after <laughs> after cutting it into two we have the upper part and then we have the lower part go ahead and set this lower part aside go ahead and set it aside so for the upper part now we are going to go ahead and also cut out this line so that we can have two pieces so once you are done this is what it's going to look like this is what we are going to have once we are done the back block now we are only going to be doing the upper piece because the lower piece is the same with the front lower piece except for the fact that we just add our sewing allowance which i'm going to show you guys once we move to the fabric part so now we have our length this is our length still making use of the basic length we have for the front block right so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead now and indicate like the the lines we have so we took away six inches that's why we have six inches off this way and then we have the length of our waist so we'll go ahead now and mark our bust which is eight inches uh bust eight and a half our arm or eight inches our under bust we had 12 inches and our waist this is what we have so let's go ahead now and connect the lines together look now i'm making use of one and a half for my zip allowance you can use one inch you can use two inches it depends on you so i'm going to be making use of one and a half inches so this is what i have i'll go ahead now and connect the lines together after connecting the lines we are going to come to our waistline we are going to mark our dart which is four inches mark your dart four inches mark your dart four inches and then 
connect the lines together the back block is actually very simple if you have any question please drop your questions in the comment section on uh, that line go ahead and mark half inch on both sides so just like your front block mark half inch on both sides and then connect it to your bust line this way connect it to your bust line this way so once you are done this is what we are going to have the next thing you have to do very quickly is to go ahead and mark your measurement so our measurement starts from this point which is after our zip allowance so we have our bust our bust which is 10.2 and then we have our waist which is 9.25 so go ahead and connect your bust to your waist you can see very easy please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe you don't have sweet tarts at your back block or do you have a sweet tarts effect in your back block no so that's why we have it to be straight this way and this is what we have for the back block guys for the upper block for the front block this is what we have so this is what we have for the front block the upper part so let's go ahead now and set this aside and then for the lower part this is what we have i've gone ahead to also you know cut out the lining also the interface so for the lower part this is what we have so for our complete front block we are going to have two pieces for the upper part and then one single piece for the lower part so let's set this aside why for the back block also we are going to have two pieces for the lower side now why do you have two pieces for the lower side don't forget that we have our zip allowance so we are going to have two pieces for the lower side of the back block and for the upper side of the back block also you are going to have two pieces right because of our zip allowance so this is what we have so let's go ahead now and couple this up this is what we have for the back block we have two pieces now i've gone ahead to join you know the upper piece of the back block and the lower piece together i've gone ahead to join it and also i've also gone ahead to join these two pieces so this is definitely what we have and this is what it looks like right so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and couple this up you can see because it's a pattern fabric you can see the way i was able to follow the pattern to give us like this um yeah this pattern shape which is very cute so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to couple this up and fixing our zip so we're going to fix in our zipper to close up this part so once i'm done fixing my zip we are going to have one single piece you know we have two pieces now it was initially four pieces then we joined it together we have two pieces once i'm done fixing my zip now we are going to have one single piece for the back block this block now we've also gone ahead to couple it up you can see we've also gone ahead to couple this up so we have the bustier effect you can see the bustier effect even without like any um structure or anything you can see what it looks like and of course we've gone ahead to join the upper we've gone ahead to join the upper body and the lower body together so we have one single piece so the reason why we have this is because when you look at our pattern or the measurements this is the shape of the of the client so the hip is about 45 inches and the waist is about 23 inches so you can see that the hip is bigger than the waist and the bust so that is why we have this you know effects because of the shape so note that it depends on the shape of your client it doesn't really have to come out this way if your client's shape is not too curvy you're just gonna have it somewhere around here you know just to blend but this is the body shape and everybody is beautiful in their own shape so we have one single piece once we are joined once we are done joining the back piece together so once we are done 
joining the back piece now you know once we are done joining the back piece after fixing in our zipper this is what we are going to have so the next thing we are just going to do now is to go ahead and place the back block on the front right place your back block on the front and then we'll go ahead and take our bust measurement we'll take our waist measurements and our hip measurements right once we are done i will show you guys we are done joining it this is what we have you can see how cute our soup dress is and also you can see the bustier effect and i really love the way i followed the pattern and then for the back block also for the back block also this is what we have you can see how cute it is so for me for the lower part of my dress i went ahead to add or to attach a flay to it so you can basically attach whatever you want to attach to it but for the sake of this video this is where we got up to which is a short dress form of our tube bustier effect thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video bye